Ooh, it's the end of February. How good is that? Oh, I can't believe two months of the year is gone already, but it's the collection update for February 2014. I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. I've been really busy, new job, etc, etc. But there will be more videos coming soon. I am preparing something better. Anyway, start off with the collection update with actual an update to my collection. I didn't buy these this month, but when I did the PS1 collection video, I was missing a couple of games. Um, one of them was... Abe's Oddworld Abe's Exodus. Oddworld Abe's Exodus. Turns out I went into my sister along with uh, Point Blank 1 and 2. So I got them back. I was really tearing my hair because I had no idea where they were. I lived to my sister. <coughs> um, sorry. Uh, PC next. Um, so I was at the, the Salvos, which is a, a charity shop near my work. And they had some a couple of games, a couple of a lot of Microsoft games actually. Some looks like they donated a bunch of Microsoft stuff in Carter and all that kind of stuff. On top of that, there was uh, Starfleet Academy. I think there's five discs. I hope it's only five discs. Um, yeah, it's made by Interplay. I just saw, which made um, Redneck Rampage. <laughs> awesome. And this one got a little bit of a story behind it. I saw, the only reason I bought this one is because I saw this one. And I thought. Extra three bucks, extra three dollars each, whatever. This is, I probably overpaid a little bit, but nostalgia got the best of me. The story behind this is, um, I was in electronics class one morning, and the teacher's son was there. I think he was unwell or had a day off from school or something, whatever. And he had his laptop. At that point, I was in year seven, I was 12, 13. I've never actually seen a laptop in person. I never actually got to, you know, have a fiddle with it, and I still hadn't at that point because the bastard didn't let me. But he was playing a game. I'm like, oh, yeah, what's that? Oh, it's uh, Pandora's box. Me being the uh, ingenious little bastard I was, I go, can I borrow it and burn a copy? No. But then I forgot about it. Now I bought it. So, yeah. It's a puzzle game for the creator of Tetris, Alexi Pazlovsky. So that's cool. Um, start over here. I got uh, some other stuff. Oh, things are stuck to each other. Let's go from backwards. Okay, I bought three PS2 shovelware titles. These cost me two bucks each. They are City Soccer Challenge, Crazy Chicken X, or, yep, and Crazy Golf. Which apparently I have Crazy Golf Two. So now I have Crazy Golf One to go with it. They're all two dollars each. They're all complete. Um, I don't buy PS2 games or. PS3 or Xbox or Xbox 360 games that aren't complete generally, unless it's a, a pack. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, Xbox Music Maker, which I've actually, it's a weird story. My best mate had this when he got an Xbox and I had a PS1, 2, I don't know, whatever it was. And he had this and I didn't, and I was like, oh, it looked kind of cool. I never got to play it. And I found it for a dollar, so. Um, Xbox 360, Call of Duty 3, that was like 4 bucks I think, that's why I got it, it's usually a lot more expensive in the uh, second hand shops down here, but the problem is a uh, classics disc, it's frustrating, uh, Darkness 2 Limited Edition, brand new, $4, it's actually brand new, so, uh, the EB games near, uh, all, all around Australia were having a sale, so I got it for 4 bucks. For 11, I think it was only four dollars as well. Uh, manuals all ripped up, I think I did that though. So I've got all the fevers up to 11 now. And PS6, that was like a dollar or two, I think, wasn't very much. But I had PS something, yeah. Um, can I see it? No, it's back. Um, I had the other PS, whatever it is. Uh, Yakuza 3 for the PS3. This was only, I think, six bucks? Six or nine? Yeah. Um, yeah. And then there's uh, Mega Man Star Force 2. Zerka X Ninja. It looks kind of silly. But uh, the weird thing about this is there's nothing on the back. There's no pictures of the game. Right, two more things. Um, this one I was very graciously donated by my good friend Stephen. Plants vs Zombies, God, for the Xbox One. Um, 
actually a lot of fun. I do not like multiplayer games because I am very competitive and I suck at them. So I get really frustrated. But this was actually a lot of fun. The way they've made this into a, a shooter is actually really ingenious. Um, if you've played the game and you like shooters, if you played the original game and original two games and you do like shooters, you will like this, I think. Um, and it has split screen. Okay. I, um... Actually, I've got two more things. A bit of hardware. I got the red Pokemon XY DS 3DS XL. Finally finished paying it. I've had it on layby since like December because I was just I had no real quick need for a DS, I thought I'd just paid off slowly. That's gonna keep that sealed for now. Um, so I have enough DS's to last me a little while. Uh, this one, I did spend a bit of money on this. Um, it's not as in good condition as I would have liked. It doesn't actually go into my NES without a little bit of finessing. I'm gonna have to take, it's, it's, it's I'll, I'll show you, it's, it's in really shit condition. I'm gonna have to really work on this to clean it up. Um, I'm actually really annoyed that I paid as much as I did considering how bad the, the condition is, but... Oh well. It's something I've wanted since... I, I saw it in a shop in Canada on my honeymoon in January last year. Yeah. And ever since then, I didn't buy it. It was 200 Canadian dollars, and I didn't buy it, and it was in really good condition, and up until I... The day before I found this on eBay, I was really obsessing about it, and I gave up like, oh well, and I eBay it the next day because I'm like, I'll just look at it and then I'll see the prices are really huge and then I'll get over it. And then I saw this copy. It was in Australia, which is unusual because it never came to Australia. And it was auction, which is unusual too because I usually just put an exorbitant fucking price on it. And yeah, I won. Action 52. Um, it works. Uh, it looks like shit. I mean... Like that there, stop it from going into the, uh, the N Nintendo properly. It's got hot glue everywhere. I don't know if that's the original condition or the hot glue, though. Um, I'd very much like to take this apart. Uh, and, you know, really see how it works. It looks like everything is off-the-shelf parts. Uh, I'd love to see if I can rebuild it. Out of a, and, yeah, make my own Action 52 board. Repros, I guess. Um, but there's no real way in here. It's all glued together. Um, yeah, I should really look up board scans of it, it'd be a lot easier. But yeah, I own Action 52, that's awesome. Game sucks a bag of dicks. It's an American game, so I played on my pal, Nintendo, and the intro, which is, uh, It Takes Two, sounds so much worse. It's awful. Just awful. But I have it. Now, um, I actually remember what my count is this time to say it. This game right here was the last game I got this month. This is game 1,999. Now, that's really cool. Problem is, I'm actually selling a few things at the moment. So that number's actually probably going to go down next month rather than go up. There's only one thing I want to get next month. And due to monetary constraints for the next couple of months, I'm going to only be able to get to that one thing, and that will be ground zeros. But... Oh, I might only be able to get that one thing. It depends how the selling of stuff goes. Um, but, if I sell things, that will not be game 2000, which would be really cool and really funny at the same time. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I think that's it. Nothing else sitting around. Nope, 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 nope. That's it. Um, yeah, look out in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm putting together some... Some scripted content to see how that goes down. Um, also, make sure you check out my other channel with Steven, the Mithras channel. It's uh, Myth-1221, or just Google Mithras LP. No one watches our stuff. I put so, We put so much time into recording it, and I put a lot of time into editing and uploading it, and no one fucking watches it. There's like one view, and it's really frustrating. So, um, go fucking watch it, you bastards. Yeah. Until next time, which will probably hopefully be in a couple of weeks, depending on how busy I am. I will catch you guys another time. Bye.